At this stage in the engine build, we see now that we have connected all of the pistons with the pins and the con rods in the correct manner. Um, we're going to give everybody a little view of the difference of some of these pistons. In the bottom of some um, late engines, they have an oil cooling system that actually runs oil through the workings of the piston and back out the other side. This is done by what is called a spray bar or a spray jet. We'll talk about these a little bit later on, but to give you an idea, these sit in the block and they inject oil into this small cavity or the small hole and that loops through the piston and comes back out the other side. Slightly lubricates, but at the same time it cools the piston, which is very important in these high performance, this is an high performance diesel engine this that we're building right now. Um, another point to make out is that the orientation of these pistons, how they must be fit in the block, I keep saying orientation, that means the way round that these things should go in. Um, as the oil galleries, and then there's an opposite side of these, these must be dropped in in a certain order. On top of the pistons we have a small triangle and a small dot. And there's a certain way round that these will fit. Uh, there's no other way, if you gate wrong, the spray bar will catch the bottom of the piston, it'll make a clanging noise, uh, most likely break that off at some point and uh, overheat the pistons. In this clip we're going to fit a set of piston rings onto a piston. Uh, I normally do this without the aid of any tools because experience has learnt me, and I suppose the amount of times that I've done it, um, how to put these on without um, any of the tools that you see on the market nowadays. We don't really endorse them, they've got to be a very heavy ring out of say an HGV or something before we do use those. Um, the first step, we like to cover all of the galleries with oil. This aids the first startup of the engine. As I say, this is another messy process, but it's clean oil, building oil. Get all the way around the grooves, working around. A nice clean surface, cardboard and um, cloth is essential. Place the piston down. New rings, um, we'll get these out the pack. I don't know if the camera can pick up the small um, markings on these piston rings, but um, there's an actual right way and a wrong way to fit a lot of pistons. We'll bring a close up and hopefully um, we might be able to pick this up on the camera. There's ever such a small mark there on each ring each one of them have this maybe the oil scraper rings a bit more evident and um, these markings must go to the top so we actually have how they pack piston rings for some reason is the top ring is first this being the top ring it's slightly thicker than the second ring and then the oil scraper ring below this is correct but we're not going to be able to pick these up in this way uh, other than shuffling them about. So what we normally do is we keep them the correct way up. We place the top one down, and the middle one on top, and then the oil scraper ring. We disassemble this. In this case, it has a compression spring. The white mark shows you where it splits. We normally pull that to, we can pull it fully open sometimes. Some of them have a little lock in them. What we do is we give this a touch of oil just here. A little bit fiddly. This aids in this slipping back into position when we put it onto the piston. Bring the piston up like so. Bring the spring into position. Little nip brings them together. Now at this point we like to put this joining part of the piston rings there. Then we pick up the oil ring. We fit it on like so. Excuse me using my hands, but it's the way I've been trained. Let me bring this fell around. Sneak him down over the spring, the compression spring. Now we remember that the join is here. We can just see it peeking out. And the split of the ring is here. There's a lot of arguments to whether or not the um, the ring should be um, at different, the, the split of the piston ring should be at different points. We believe that they should. Give this another light oil. Then we pick up the middle one. We place this on. This is a tricky move that I've learnt. From number one. 
Lovely. Don't worry about the gaps, we're going to misplace those in a minute. Then the last one, this is a thicker fella, it takes a little bit more force. Lovely. Check you haven't damaged your rings, give them a little squeeze and a spin. Right, at this point, the setup for the uh, piston rings, what we like. The oil scraper ring comes to say 6 o'clock. And then we have the second ring at 9 o'clock. And the top ring at 3 o'clock. This is a spacing of the bottom ring, the oil ring here. The middle compression ring here. And the top compression ring here. This set, we believe there's no way that the gases are going to leak, or the, oil, the gas are going to leak down into the cylinder, or the oil is going to leak up into the cylinder. Um, both of them issues will be a problem to the engine. We're going to leave this with a nice heavy coating of oil all over it, and now that is ready to be pressed into the cylinder bar with the aid of a piston ring compactor. 